Hi viewers, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now we have seen this Angular CLI, right? So how to install this Angular CLI in the system. Now we have come successfully completed. Now let's try to create a new app using this Angular CLI. App means that Angular application. Let's try to see this one. So before knowing, before uh, creating a new application, let's try to learn some of the comments. What are the commands available in this Angular CLI for creating an application? Now if I go, so we have installed CLI in the machines. Now it's time to create new app using the CLI commands. Now if you see the first command, so for installing what I can say the Angular application, we can use this command. We will be using this command ng new my app. Okay, so ng means the Angular CLI command uh, thing. New means creating a new application. My app means the name of the application. So what is the name of the application we need to create? So this is the command So generates the new angular app in the folder with the name my slash my app by default. So, okay. So new folder will be created with the name my app and in that folder, the application will be created. So this command will, will be used to create an application in the folder with the same name. What is the application name you have given? So this is the first command. So for creating the angular application. Now let's go to the second one. Another command is you can also use ng new my hyphen app hyphen hyphen dry hyphen one. So I, I have kept your single so but it should be double hyphen. So hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run. So this what is this command? So what is this option will do? So ng new up to my app we have seen. So what is what are the what are the meaning of these three things we have seen? What is this fourth option hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run? So what is this fourth option is? This command will tell you what are the files that are going to be created. So it will not create the files directly in this folder. So it will show you that what are the files that are going to be created in the folder without creating them. It will just report to you that these are the files that are going to be uh, created. So if you are okay with those files and now everything is okay means you can remove the dry run, uh, dry run option and you can run it. So if you are confident that okay fine. So what are the files that are going to be created with a configuration everything is fine for, for me means then you can run without dry run. So dry run will give you what are the files that are going to be created without actually creating the project. So this will be very useful to cross check once before creating an app. So, okay this is the main thing. So so many people what we will be having is even me too what will happen is so I will immediately go and create the app and then I will realize that okay okay this is not the name or this is not the thing I want to create means so we will be deleting entire project and everything and we will try to run it again. So instead of uh, doing like that if you try to use this dry run so before creating that one if you cross check then it will be very useful. So this is the dry run thing. Another one what we can say is the command yeah, another option ng new my app hyphen hyphen skip hyphen install again here I have kept the single hyphen so it is double hyphen 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 skip hyphen install. What is this option will do skip hyphen install option. So it will generate the app without running the npm install. If you try to run an application, so normally if you are uh, new to Angular means you will not understand. So if you are already created an Angular application in your projects or anything means, so you will be able to see that npm install will take the longest part of the time while creating an application. So it will create, it will, uh, files creation will be very easy, but uh, installing all the dependencies through the npm package manager, it will take longest time, right? So you don't want this npm install to be created. I want to just see the folder structure. What is the folder structure and what are the files that are created? I want to just see means. So you can use this hyphen hyphen skip hyphen install so that the Angular application it will run. It will not run the npm install. It will just create the folder structure and it will give it to you. So we, it will be used to check the folder structure without installing the npm packages. But for running that application, you need to run the command npm install. So this one you need to uh, remember. So for the for this option, where we'll when we'll be using is if you want to just see the folder structure, what are the files that are created in the disk means. So you can use this command without installing the npm package. But if you want to run that same project means, then you need to run this npm install and then you need to run this ng server ng build like that. Okay. So that is the main thing. So that is the thing about the skip install. Obviously, if you use the, use the dry run command. So now uh, another thing I forgot to tell you is if you use this dry run command. So we have we have previously used this hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run, right? So for that command also, this npm install will not run. So just it will show you, it will report you what are the files that are going to be created without running the npm uh, install. So it will show you the files what are going to be created. 
so the so that is the thing you need to uh, remember this one hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run command will not install the npm packages and the skip hyphen install also will not run the npm packages but the difference between these two commands is a where a skip hyphen install whereas skip hyphen install creates a folder structure in your machine whereas this dry run just report you what are the files that are going to be created without cre actually creating in the disk now so another command is ng new my app hyphen hyphen defaults so this is also one of the thing hyphen hyphen defaults means normally when you type without the when you when you uh, type the command without without this option hyphen hyphen defaults just if you type the command ng new my app means so normally what what does angular CLA will uh, do is it will ask you a series of questions so that means if you want to strict up uh, if you want the application to be strict strict or not if you do you want angular routing or not and what type of CSS style sheets you want to maintain so these type of questions you will be able to see that it will ask you a series of questions before in before actually creating the project in your machine if you want to take all those things if you don't want those questions to be asked means so you can keep the option or flag hyphen hyphen default so that all the default options the default settings will be taken and it will be installing without asking you any question so this one will be very useful when you are in a hurry mode or something like that you don't want these all questions to be asked means you can use this command hyphen hyphen defaults or otherwise if you want to have these default settings uh, set by the angular cla only it should take means you can use this command hyphen hyphen defaults so what what is this one is this generates the app with default settings without asking any questions in the command prompt so this is the thing so if you have any doubts or any anything so these are the main things we will be using so there are also lot of options is there in the ingenue but these are the main things which we will be using normally while creating an application so if you have any doubts or anything in the ng new command means we can already type the way we can use this command ng new and you can use hyphen hyphen here help so that it will give you all the available commands that are available in the uh, options available in the angular cli if you want to know means all the options also you can go to this angular website and here you can will be able to see all the options that are available name is nothing but the name of the application so with the same name the folder also will be created and here you will be able to see all the options that are available so hyphen hyphen defaults we have seen directory means in which directory we need to create so we have seen that the name of the application only the folder will be created right so if you want to another folder to be created but the name of the application should uh, is to be my app only means then you can use this hyphen hyphen directory hyphen hyphen try hyphen run we have seen force means force installing overriding everything hyphen hyphen help so about that one inline style inline template these all things we will try to see interact with these all things you will try to see so these are the things actually so let's try to see ng new ng new hyphen hyphen help whether we will be able to see these options or not so if you type if you type ng new hyphen hyphen help let's try to see these commands my system is very slow it will take some time to get the command yeah so see here if you try to see here we are able to get the same options that we have seen in the documentation right so what are the document in what are the things we have seen so the same things we are able to see it. so name the name of the application collection we are able to see this collection okay uh, commit create application these all things we are able to see right here so these are all the options what are options available in this engineer command we are able to see it here so this is the command so how to create an angular application uh, using the angular cli hope you understood about this one in the next video we will try to create the angular application using angular cli commands so in the practical we will try to see it so hope you understood about this concept of uh, creating an application in angular cli if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.